Brian Robinson for the head voice speech. It feels like it was only yesterday we were entering the gates of Grand Park High School for the first time. All of us who gazed in awe at our new surroundings that we are so familiar with today. 300 grade eights were all gathered together in the matric circle, hastily trying to find someone that they knew, or someone familiar from primary school. I remember sitting in the hall for the first time, being surrounded by timidness and tension. We marveled at the leaders who looked so massive and scary back then. Who knew that in a blink of an eye, we would become like them? Five years ago, at the grade eight inauguration, Everyone cheered when Mr. Wilkie enthusiastically referred to us as the class of 2020. If we had known what 2020 would turn out like this, I wonder what we would have done back then. This brings me to an old story about a wise old man and two young boys who decided to try trick the man. The boys caught a butterfly, cast it in their hands, and decided to deceive the man by asking him whether the butterfly was alive or dead. If the man replied that the butterfly was alive, they would, they would gently kill it. But if the man said that it was dead, the boys would throw it up and set it free. The boys proceeded with their plan. The wise old man that spotted the wing of the butterfly protruding slightly from one boy's fist and listened to what they had to say. When the boys asked whether the butterfly was alive or dead, the wise man simply replied, the answer to that question lies in your hands. Fellow Matrix, just like the fate of the butterfly lay in the boy's hand, the fate of your future lies in yours. Even though the year has been tough, we can all recall special highlights from, the schooling, from our schooling career. And despite our year being cut short, we will always be the class of 2020. When future employers look at our Matrix certificates, they will see the year 2020 printed on it and know that we have gone through to obtain these results. This has been an extraordinary and challenging year, and they will know that we are better than the rest in so many ways, because we have the grit and determination to keep going forward. As the Matrix of 2020, we have left our own unique mark on the school. Our values and aspirations have influenced many. This would not have been possible without the careful nurturing that the educators have bestowed on us. I would like to extend my gratitude to the educators who have gone the extra mile to assist us in the classroom and on virtual platforms during lockdown. They gave up their usual holidays and worked long hours to make sure that we could study online and be fully prepared for finals. Thank you to our foreign teachers. I would like to also thank our two school moms and dad, Mrs. Nordia, Mrs. Thompson, and Mr. Schmidt. You have celebrated our highs and guided us through our lows. We will be forever grateful for what you have done for us. Mrs. Skidder, Mrs. Viviers, and Mr. Schmidt, thank you for molding the 2020 leaders into what we are today. Your positive influence is what has made us great. Finally, I would like to thank my fellow head leaders, Tiana, Angela, Clummy, Renai, and the puddle. Alone, we could not achieve much, but together, anything was possible. I would like to leave you with some inspiration for the finals and your future onwards. David did not become great when he killed Goliath, but at the moment that he decided to try. Remember that the strongest steel is forged in the hottest of fires. Let your ambition, your willingness to try, and the fire in your soul carry you in good stead for the future. Thank you.